morning. Today I'm going to take the front wheels off, have a check over the uh, brakes and steering and stuff and clean up under the arches and see what we've got um, and put some bolts in that distributor that we're missing yesterday and general tat about really. Hopefully you can see that just down there. I put a bolt on the uh, distributor that side and then where are we? On that side there. Now there's a downside to having it up on the ramps and having the back wheels off. If like me you're too lazy to actually put the wheels back on and roll it back off the ramps and you haven't got a high lift jack, you have to do a bit of a bodge. I wouldn't recommend this unless like me you're a fully trained retard and uh, are used to crushing yourself under cars. But uh, it should work. I'm 95% confident of lack of failure. See what happens. make a joke earlier about uh, safety but realistically it's all good um, the axle stands at the front are under a strong part of the chassis as you can see and uh, under the back I've got all the wheels thrown under it's on axle stands at the back as I say with the wheels under it and also I've got the um, ramps under the hubs on the back so it's not going to go anywhere unless I sit there rocking it or jump up and down in there, which I'm obviously not going to do. Okay, let's have our first look under the uh, front wheel arch. That's probably there. That's the inside of the front wing. Driver's side. good. I'm going to clean up, see what's behind this plastic panel. Brakes look okay. Absolutely surprised how small the pads are on the front of a, an old car. Clean that up in a bit. Have a look on the other inside side. The passenger front wing. okay again we know we know about the top up there take these plastic guards off and have a look clean all these up disconnect the wiring uh, it's obviously had a bit of a splicing job to the existing loom to get them side lights on so I need to remember the color coding from one to the other they're all disconnected now should be able to pull the light unit out I mustn't forget to connect that earth back up when I put it back in Okay, so inside the driver's wheel arch now. Just that front bit there. Top of the wing is fine. And all around is good. There's a tiny hole just down the bottom of the wing there. But nothing else at all on this side. All the brake pipes and everything looks good. Um, maybe a wise plan to replace the flexi hoses. No idea, but I reckon they're original, so they won't be very good. And um, driver side front wing, again, we knew all these holes were there. It'll just give me better access now to 
clean them up and fill them or weld them. Passenger side wing. Um, we've got that part which we could see from the outside. And you can just about see that's the um, part of the wing what's full of filler. It's rusted into the seam there, so I can't see anything from this side. And then the part at the top, everything else is okay. Again, front balance part and top of the indicator. You can just see the blob of filler at the top there. And then passenger side wing. Should be able to get to that a lot easier now. So there's not much on that video today, uh, simply because it was a lot of cleaning under wheel arches and you know stuff like that, which we've done on a previous video. There's only so much of that even I find interesting and worth recording. Um, so I'm sort of ready now to either start filling holes or seriously think about what I'm going to do welding wise. Um, ideally I'd like to get a guy out and have it all done but I think with this lockdown thing going on it could be weeks and I'm really waiting now to start you know patching holes and getting stuff back on it so I think I've seriously got to look at getting a welder um, and sourcing some metal and getting on with it myself really uh, otherwise there's going to be days when I'm just doing nothing and I could be waiting for weeks so yeah I don't really want to fill holes just for the sake of it um, even though I could you know I could bodge it but there's no point uh, so yeah I think um, I've got to get a bit of research on now and decide what I'm going to buy and uh, where I'm going to source the stuff from. Of course, the problem I'm getting is I can get a, a welder purchased and, and sent here. That's not a problem. Where I'm going to get metal from um, and what gauge I need, I guess I'll have to ask on one of the forums what gauge I need for repair of, of certain things. But it would be a lot easier if I start getting that done myself so um, tomorrow I will clean up the uh, rusty parts that I'm gonna fill I've got some rust killer now came through the post today um, I didn't want to do that today because I'm fed up with changing all my clothes every day so I shall wear the same ones tomorrow and get dirty tomorrow it's Friday tomorrow and then I'll have the weekend off so I'll get the rust killer on and um, then that'll cure all weekend and then Monday next week I can start filling the holes that I'm going to fill and uh, also over the weekend definitely research which welder I'm going to get if I go that way so uh, I'll catch you tomorrow <laughs>